Hi everybody, Brooke Sanders here with Johnstown's Finest. And today I'm really excited because you know I love my artists here in Johnstown. And we are here in uh, Patrice Henkel's home studio where she creates a lot of magic. How are you today, Patrice? I'm very well. Thank you, Brooke. And thanks for this opportunity. Oh, I'm so happy Thank to so be much. here. So when did you get here, Patrice, to Johnstown? Well, I arrived right before COVID lockdown. I came here in October of 2019, and for about two years, I didn't do much. You know, we had lockdown. Um, I joined the Y. Uh, I exhibited some art with the Allied Artists of Johnstown, of which I'm an mem active member now. Uh, I'm really glad to be here. It's been, I want to say the best move I've ever made. I mean, I've, I've pulled up stakes a few times in my life. Mm -hmm. And um, so I retired here after 30 years in a marketing career spanning about every kind of marketing you can think of in Washington, DC, and in and around DC. And I was really ready to uh, get away from particularly the traffic. <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> so yeah. uh, I wasn't thinking I could retire. Uh, it didn't seem possible. And then uh, an old friend of mine moved up here. I came to visit. I, I was expecting a gloomy place. I didn't think I would think much of it. And I came here and I looked around and kind of fell in love. Yes, I like know. The I town, understand that feeling. The mountain, <laughs> particularly, yeah. the Laurel Mountain. Yeah. Uh, downtown, the history. Oh, it's a yeah. fascinating place. Yeah. I'm really good at being an introvert. I can entertain myself forever, painting, drawing, writing, reading, you know. It took me a while to um, decide that I needed to get out and connect more with the community. I think oh, the viewers are going to be really interested in your art, obviously, that's why we're here, but you're also a storyteller. And when did you start to fall in love with painting? And when did you start to realize that I, I need to also be able to write? Well, my mother, I believed my mother was a painter. What? happened was she took a class when I was eight years old. She came home and taught me everything she learned in her in an adult oil painting class. Came home, taught me every lesson that she learned, bought me my first box of oil paints at age eight, Isn't and then that? taught me painting. And I believed that she was, you know, the greatest artist in the world, of course. So um, my mother was good at everything. So she didn't stick with painting. She went on to do all kinds of things. Uh, but that has never left me. It's always been my identity. So, um, and really, I was a landscape painter and identified as a landscape painter. Uh, it was coming to Johnstown and, and getting a new painting teacher during COVID online that changed things up quite a bit. Um, I've got, and I've come back to my traditional plein air work because I love it and I miss it. And there's so many beautiful things to see around this landscape here. But in studying for three years with an abstract painter, I loosened up, um, broken barriers, gotten bigger. I have, uh, you know, more of a, it's more, just more expansive and I take more chances and I'm, I'm, more than just a landscape painter, but that is my true love. And that's I your passion. Did that all through it. my yeah. childhood. I, ah. I grew up on the water, and uh, me and my friends would go out in our rowboat and yes. paint under the willow trees. Is that right? You know, so it's also a way of, of connecting with nature, absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not, you know, 
I, I tried early in my adulthood. It's like, let's just give up this art thing. It's really impractical. That does not work. <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't work. <laughs> it comes flying back to me in yeah. some form or another. I or I'm so this. unhappy that yeah. I can't yes. go on. So this is a very, I can't very, not do it. <laughs> yes, this is a very, very common theme. Uh, that I hear with all of the artists. Very that nice I story, think. actually. If you think about, you know, the, the Greek, uh, Greek literature of your fate. Yes, is, yes. is going to come through whether you like it or not. That's exactly <laughs> true. That is exactly true. This is color. Tell me about this picture. It evokes a lot of emotions in me, Patrice. Oh, it's just the beginning. It's it's a very traditional underpainting technique uh, you'll see in a lot of European art, uh, which is canvases were traditionally toned with a color called burnt sienna, which is an ochre that comes out of the earth. Uh, this pigment happens to be made by Gamblin from reclaimed mine waste. When you see those polluted orange streams, that beautiful color is iron oxide, and they are making artists' colors from it now. Is something. Isn't that amazing? Oh. So it's so appropriate for our, our area. Rust Belt history. Yes, indeed. You know? And as soon as I saw this picture, and it just did something, you know? You know, the mills are, are they're just such incredible structures, too, yes. artistically. Yes, um, yes. I've done videos in them. Yeah. And oh, so it's... In, I'd love to get into them. something special and me taking more chances. Um, I was invited by a colleague from the Allied Artists of Johnstown um, to take part in a project for Stations of the Cross. It's actually called the Way of the Cross. And there's going to be an exhibit on March 20th, 21st, and 22nd. It'll be from 4 to 7 p.m. in Hornerstown. And I'll get you the address. Um, and that is going to be an exhibit with um, probably one to three artists per each station, which are 14, and we each chose one to make art in response to. There will also be live music and um, some presentations. Fantastic. So, this is uh, the Daughters of Jerusalem, and it's based on a scripture no, but I don't. Um, about the women who were following Jesus on his way to the crucifixion, and they're beating their breasts and crying and wailing, and, and he says to them, don't cry for me, cry for your children. And the thing, of course, that grabbed me about this scripture is there's a line in there that's very mysterious about, and the mountains shall fall on them. And I have searched high and low, all kinds of interpretations. It's pretty much the same in many editions of the Bible and even the Hebrew Bible, but nobody has much to say about it. Hmm. The mountains shall fall on them. So since I have a, a great affection for my local mountains, I grabbed onto that. If you folks know or have an idea, let us know in the comments. It would be very interesting to hear what you folks think. Yeah. So I'm, I'm relatively new to putting figures in my paintings, and the way that's come about is because I've been going to a figure drawing class regularly now at the Bottle Works. Uh, they just show up sometimes when I'm sketching, and they just appear in paintings now. And so this was an opportunity to do a figurative piece that was um, combining my love of landscape, my love of story, and some of the more abstract uh, and um, mythical ideas that I, I want to pull it all together in this and so I'm hopeful it's uh, I've got a lot of work to do on it in the next week but um, I'm really excited about this show it's something completely different you know what I'm excited for what? I'm excited to see the finished product because this already makes my heart thump right oh, so, glad to hear that yeah so I'm super super excited I'm definitely going to be there for sure and I encourage all of you folks to be there as well. We must support our artists' community. They're so important. Well, folks, I don't know about you, but I have had just the most exciting time really listening to Patrice and hearing her story. Artists are the most interesting people I've ever met. 
And Patrice, you are no exception to that. There's so many interesting layers to you and we'll be following you for years to come, I'm sure here on Johnstown's Finest and Beyond. And I just wanna say thank you very much for allowing us to come in and take a little glimpse into Patrice Henkel. Thank you so much, Brooke. It's really been fun and um, I'm looking forward to it. Yes, okay, well, good. And then folks, well, you know what I always say, until I see you next time, Johnstown, stay friendly. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.